Hey guys and girls, this time I'm back showing you how I edit my videos in a quick tutorial. I see a lot of YouTubers who do this wrong or don't center their crosshairs over the BBs on impact. I want to show you how to do this correctly and make your videos as brilliant as they can be. I'm using PowerDirector which is relatively cheap software costing only 70 euros and is perfect for a beginner. So without further ado, let's start. The first most important thing is that your scope cam is centered as accurately as possible on your crosshairs. On most scopes, especially the one I'm using, FNKY scope mount with a run cam, there's these dial-in screws as you can see here, which you can screw to center the camera as best as you can to the crosshairs. Next, we need to get our crosshairs. So go to Google and type in a .png crosshairs. You'll get various different types. If you go to images, you can go through don't go for ones that you pay for. You, you can easily get fine ones like this that are free. This is essentially an image and just save it somewhere on your computer for later in the software. We will now open PowerDirector and create a new video. You can name the video whatever you want. In this case, we'll call it Scope Camera Video How To and just hit save on that when you're ready. I then usually start by just deleting these sample videos. Just want to keep a tidy workspace. Once this is done, we're then going to find our .png scope image. And we're simply going to just drag this into the workspace in PowerDirector. So pick the one, as you can see, I have lots of different types here. Pick the one you want. You can have red dot size scopes, depending on what you're doing in your video. I then click on this and drag it in to the timeline. As you can see, there's different areas for videos, sound, effects, but simply just drag this video out, widen it. This is essentially making it longer in time. Then you can bring in anything else you need, such as, in this case, blood splatters for an, uh, if I got shot. I've also got a hit marker for confirming kills and a sound file that sounds like this which is essentially the sound of hitting somebody with a BB. I then go in and find other stuff like my head cam footage and also my selfie cam footage and I pull these in there. So I'm going to basically make a small short video here to show you how I do everything from start to finish. So once those files are in the timeline, we can now start editing our video. We'll start, of course, with just the head cam footage. So that will go first before I take the shot. So I just moved the scope image over out of the way and I placed, pull and drag the actual video of my head cam footage down. I then simply start by scrolling through the image to get to the point that I want to find. And I'll just move this uh, out of the way a bit further. And then once I find the image, the section that I want, I'll hit control T to cut the video and audio file in half. And then I'll delete the part I don't need and just keep the part I need. So in this case, delete and start. So that I'll show you that start in my image. So yeah, delete and move to the start. So I'll hit play and then find the part that I want to play up until, which is just about here. And again, I'll cut that file, control T, and then I'll delete the remaining file here because I'm not gonna make a long video. So then I'll start by dragging the scope image back. As you can see, this is down, it's an overlaid image. So it's down underneath the video file, meaning if I put something above it, it'll overlay on top of it. So with this in place, I'll now drag down my scope cam footage and move it right up to the, the actual head cam footage. So they'll play into each other. Again, I need to go through this to find the part that I want. So in this case, this guy is sticking his head out, as you can see in the top right corner. So I'm going to go to the start of that. I'm going to control T again on that, making sure only to select the video file. And I'll delete that video right in front of it. So remove, remove and fill gap. So it'll push right up to the head cam footage. And play it through till the point where he's shot and ducks in. Okay, that's plenty. Go back a little bit even. And I'll go control T again on that and delete the footage after that. And um, and then essentially you've got the frame that you want to use. Now for the part that a lot of YouTubers do wrong. You now want to center that video image with the center of the crosshair 
a lot of YouTubers don't do this at all, and when the BB flies out, it's not going anywhere near where the crosser is aimed. Here, I simply just want to select the video file, which is over the scope cam overlay. And once I can select it, like now, I can actually drag the video underneath the image of the scope crossers, and I can start to position it. Now, before I did that, I, mo I moved the video using the comma and full stop button to, to the second where you can see the BB just about to hit his face. Because I know that's the last point of impact, and that's where I want the crosser to be. Keeping the video file selected, we now go into the designer tab and go into the mask designer. This will allow us to get rid of that horrible trim around the scope. Now, because the, the frame around the scope is actually square, we need to find a square mask. So if you scroll down here, there's one at the bottom I always use, this guy. Now, I need to invert this because it's the wrong way around. Now, and I can drag that over the scope, right? So everything on the edges now is going to be blacked out. And you can just position it, and once you think you're happy, and you'll just press OK. And then you'll see that I have a black surround. Now, you can see I have a little gap here, so I can just simply go right back in, and I can just minimize that mask a small bit more, or increase it depending on what you need to do, until you're happy. And once that's done, I'll hit OK again, and now you should see that the scope looks really good. We've got a perfect image and a black frame right around it. Now, to finish the video off, we'll take our selfie footage, and position it on the timeline up against the scope camera footage. Again, we'll scroll through to the point where I took the shot and I'm just about to reload and we'll control T before that, or just after me taking the shot in the selfie cam footage. So about there. I'm going to delete the footage before and essentially, yeah, we can delete that scope cam footage too because we don't need it because as you can see in the top right corner, it's overlaid. So once we delete a bit of it, we can then drag it back to so it just covers the scope cam footage. So essentially, that's your small video made. And you know that in this video, the crosshairs are centered exactly with the BB. Again, I'm just turning up the volume of the video clips here, which is easy to do, make them all the same. And then I'll just show you a preview of what this should look like. Now all we want to do is put in the hit markers and the sound that's played when a player gets hit. To do this, I'll just simply start by dragging down my hit marker. Again, this is a .png. Everything that I want to overlay over a video has to be a .png, not a JPEG. So I'll drag this down into the timeline. And we'll position it at the point where the BB actually hits the player. Because that's when we want it to show up. We'll minimize it, making it as small as possible, so it'll only play for maybe half a second. So it'll flash on screen. And we'll just move that. I think somewhere around there is about right. Minimize it again a little bit more. So it'll only play for like half a second. You can see the timeline on, on the top of uh, um, the video feed there. And now this is the audio file, which will have be the TUD sound when the BB hits. Again, we'll just trim this so it'll play like a <laughs> sound just at that point. So I'm just going to play this to make sure I'm kind of happy with it. Now... The hit mark is very big there, so I'll click on that, and I can minimize that and center it, just to make it look a bit better. You don't want to covering the whole image or the whole video. So once that is minimized, and I move it back in position, you can again using your arrow keys, you can move all the overlays or PNGs very small amounts at a time, rather than dragging it. The drag dragging can be quite hard to position something accurately. So with this done. We should have our small video complete and we'll show you a proper preview of that entire video now in a second. So all I'll show you now is how it's produced. So we go up to the top and go to the produce tab. Now because all this footage is 1080 um, and all the videos are recording, all the three cameras are recording in 1080 at 60 frames a second, I like to go into drop down and make sure it's uh, 1080. And I make sure it's Ireland PAL and I just start my processing and wait for it to produce. And the end, you should be left with a very good video. 
Remember guys, it all comes down to how your scope camera is set up. You want those BBs flying in the center of the scope camera's image as possible. The more center it is, the easier it is to edit later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications button. I'm Fox Green.